Hello everyone, so I have another quick video here. It's a proof by induction problem. So let's get through it and see. So prove by induction that n is less than 2 to the power n. So we have to prove by induction that this proposition here is true for all non-negative integers. Okay, so that's what we have to prove by induction. Let's get started and see what we will do here. Of course, as with all problems of proof by induction, we'll begin with the basis step. So the basis step where we have to prove that this proposition is true for some uh, arbitrary value that is in the range of course. So let's just use n equals to 1, for example. So if I just plug n equals to 1, here, I'll have 1 less than 2 to the power 1. Of course, this is true because we know 1 is less than 2, of course. So the second, and of course you can go on and try out for other non-negative integers to see if this holds. So uh, if that works, then we continue and look at the induction hypothesis. So the induction hypothesis. And basically what this is, is that we will make an assumption that this proposition is true for some arbitrary value of k. So... For this, I'll assume or suppose, suppose that the proposition n is less than 2n, uh, of course, for all non-negative integers, so is true for, uh, let's choose some value k, and that value k should be between 0 and n, uh, okay, because that's the range we are considering, so that's a supposition that this is true. It's a hypothesis, but we've got to prove that hypothesis. So finally, we look at the induction step. So the induction step where we do the actual uh, proof. So I'll rewrite this. We want to prove, just get another color here, that n is less than uh, 2 to the power n for all non-negative uh, integers n. So... From this, you can already see, I'll just write that here, n is less than 2 to the power n. Um, if I just add 1 on both sides of this, you can see that n plus 1 is less than 2 to the power n plus 1. Of course, that should be uh, trivial because adding 1 on both sides doesn't change the state of affairs that much. Uh, because I could as well subtract one on both sides and I just get back to this. But then this right here, this, okay, is less than or equal to 2 to power n plus n. And this should be true because n is a non-negative integer. So uh, the least value of n here can only be a 1, which means that um, even with the smallest value of n, uh, this can only be less than or equal to uh, 2 to the power n plus n, okay? And of course, this right here can is also less than or equal to 2 to the power n plus 2 to the power n because we know that n from here, n is always less than uh, 2 to the power n. So uh, this right here should be true that uh, if I replace the n with 2 to the power n, this is still less than or equal to uh, to that. Okay, but of course, something interesting to see from here is that uh, this is the same as 2 to, uh, of course, 2 times 2 to the power n because I have two of them. I have this and this, so that's that right there, which is the same as 2 to the power. Okay, I'll just write that here now. So I'll rewrite the whole statement now, n plus 1, and I'll skip everything here. I'll just go to this here. This is less than 2 times 2 to the power n. So n plus 1 is less than 2 to the power. Of course, this is 2 to power 1. So using the properties of indices or powers, that's going to be n plus 1. I just add the powers. And this right here is, uh, I mean, this completes the proof. Because uh, when we're using proof by induction, we suppose that it's true for some value, say n, uh, so if it's true for n and n plus 1, then we can conclude that the proposition or the statement is true for all values of n. All right, thanks for watching this. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, more videos are coming up, so see you then. Bye.